We talk about core formats, and that's a term that's new for me. So what should a writer know about creating story for each one? And I understand in your book you talk about the one-hour drama or dramedy, 30-minute uh, single-camera sitcom, 30-minute multi-camera sitcom, a 30-minute dramedy hybrid, or the web series, which is incredibly popular right mm -hmm. now. Well, first things first, write something that you would want to watch. Write a format that you love, that you would want to watch. So if you prefer one-hour dramas like Breaking Bad or Mad Men or something like that, then write one of those. Ideally, you would know those formats. So if you love Breaking Bad, Mad Men, The Good Wife, then you would probably know a little bit more about that format. You just internalize a little bit more about that format. And ideally, you want to map out or outline out several episodes of your favorite shows before you tackle that first pilot. So you understand the structure a little bit more and you're not just writing freeform, especially if you're coming from features because you really need to understand the TV structure. So write what you know and love and would watch. Uh, the 30-minute dramedy, ten they tend to have more of a cultural viewpoint. There's more diversity in the 30-minute dramedies and they're more, uh, they're set in a more specific world, definitely than, definitely more than like a multi-camera sitcom, like a Big Bang Theory, for example. It's more of a subculture, it's more of a microculture, and I guess you'd say a personal viewpoint. But the more personal you can get, the more specific you can get, that applies to any format. What do you see many people venturing into these days, like the web series, which has been the most popular 2016-2017? Well, there are more one-hour scripted dramas than other formats actually out there in the marketplace, like on cable, you know, on, on your TV or on a streaming service like Amazon or Netflix. So there are more of those, but I really think you should write what you want to watch, so it's really up to you. There may be more one-hours being made than any other format, but in my opinion, the most interesting and unique and experimental form today is the 30-minute single-camera show, whether it's a single-camera sitcom or single-camera dramedy hybrid. There just is more going on there. There's more unique creator-driven material than ever in that format. And I would like to think that networks are more open to it and streaming services are more open to it because it is cheaper to create, to produce a 30 minute show than a one hour scripted show. Certainly like a, a one hour action show or one hour period piece, those are gonna be really expensive. So it's cheaper and some of them come from web series, something like uh, Issa Rae doing Insecure started as a web series. Um, Difficult People was a web series. So it's easier to get in the door with an established 30-minute series. Formats, because you've mapped them out. There's the mail. The post-it, yeah. <laughs> Rain, sleet, or snow. 